All right, so our next Patreon request comes from Bill McLaughlin, who asked me to do a ranking video of my favorite, uh, basically ranking the factions of Warhammer 40k. So, some of you might already know who, uh, who my favorite faction is, so... But there's a lot of new subscribers, so I'm not going to, like, uh... I'm not going to, like, say it out loud and, you know, uh, anything, or anything like that. Uh, also, anyone in the comments, please don't just be a dick and spoil it for everyone else. That'd be cool of you. Anyway, so, before we get started, as always... If you guys want to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below. Head on over to my Patreon, where you guys can start sending me requests or videos to do here on YouTube uh, once you hit the third tier. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. Well, let's actually go through the ground rules real quick of this ranking video. As always, this is just my personal preference. If you think a faction should be higher or lower on this list, that's totally fine. This is all about personal taste. So, yeah. Just keep, just keep that in mind. It is all personal taste, and I'm always excited to see where the rankings land for you in terms of Warhammer 40k. Also, another thing I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to mention Space Marine chapters in here. They're going to be ranked in with the Imperium of Man. Um, now, if someone wants to give me a ranking video, uh, like, send me a Patreon request for a ranking video for Space Marine chapters, please uh, hit the com uh, go, to, uh, go to the link below in the description and uh, send me that request. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna rank the Space Marines in with the Imperium of Man. We'd be here all goddamn day if I if I was adding the um, Space Marine chapters, and I'm not even counting the successor chapters. Um, but yeah, so they're just gonna be ranked in with the with the Imperium of Man wherever that lands. Also, I'm uh, that also counts for Chaos. I'm not gonna count every Chaos Marine. That'll probably be another fa that's another whole video in and of itself of ranking Chaos. Space Marine Legions. Um, but, I will say, when it comes to Chaos, I will be breaking up uh, the the four uh, the four factions, of four big factions, I should say, of Chaos. I'm not just going to have Chaos um, because I like them all in different ways, so. Um, and there's enough differences between them, between the four Chaos Gods, that I, and I'm not going to count Vashtor, he's not a god yet. Um between Slanesh, Nurgle, Zanich, and Korn, that I can just do that re uh, separately. Anyway, so, let's get started. Starting at the bottom, let's, we're gonna start from the bottom and go to the top, that's the other way. We're not gonna go from best to worst, we're gonna go from worst to best, or least favorite, I should say, that's the better term. So without further ado, let's get started. So starting off at the bottom of the list, we have the Leagues of Votan. They're not bad. Let me use preference by saying I don't. There's no le there's no group in or faction I really hate. The reason why the leagues of Otan are kind of at the bottom for me is because I haven't really learned enough about them. There's really not much that has like come out in terms of work and you know faction stuff that's really made me want to grab onto the leagues of Otan. They're just space dwarves, and honestly, the dwarves in Warhammer Fantasy are a little more interesting. There, I said it. <laughs> Um, but there is a new book coming out that finally the Leagues of Otan are getting an, a, a, a book, so maybe that book will get me interested. But really, there hasn't been a lot of the Leagues of Otan and that has really grabbed on uh, grabbed onto me, or I've latched on to. So there really isn't much to do with the Leagues of Otan. So that's why the Leagues of Otan are kind of at the bottom, because like there's nothing there for me that has really made me go, ooh, Leagues of Otan. In fact, I forget they're there half the goddamn time. Um, I just, like, literally forget that they are another faction out in the universe. Anyway, so moving on up to our next one. This is gonna be, uh, this one's gonna hurt. <laughs> like, this one's gonna hurt some people. It's the Eldar. I know, I just heard some people go, What? The Eldar? Yeah, the Eldar... They're interesting, don't get me wrong. They, I like their, their universe, I like the craft worlds, I like the different, like how each faction took the destruction of their world, the Eldrites, uh, like, everything about them is really, uh, the, um, the Exodites, excuse me. The Exodites are really cool, I mean, it's el space elves with space dinosaurs, how could I fought not fucking like that? But, the main thing I have to bring up is that the Eldar don't really have a lot of things that have, gra uh, that have grabbed me, same with the Leagues of Otan, and what I have read is pretty fucking awful. Thanks, CS Goto. 
if you if you know those that author, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, there really isn't hasn't been a lot of, and this is the problem with also with a lot of Warhammer books is that a lot of them are really hard to get, and the, I've heard that the really good ones are kind of out of reach for a lot of people. Um, so the books are. The, and I depend more on like and if, for those who don't know I don't play the game I just read the lore I'm not a game I'm not a player of the game I just really love the lore and so far outside of like um, Eld Eldrad and Yvrain there isn't really anyone I haven't really like latched on just like oh those are really cool characters uh, and also space elves also you ba you also created Vasilash by just you, just, you fucked a, go a a demon into existence. Thanks. You, f <laughs> to quote DJ Khaled, congratulations. You played yourselves. <laughs> um. So yeah, there you go. The Eldar. Moving on to our next one, we're gonna move on now to our first Chaos God in this uh, in this ranking. That is Corn. Ooh, I'm gonna make some uh, like yeah, Corn. Mostly because he's just a big uh, angry god. Not to say I don't like him. There are some cool things there, and I really do like, you know, of course, Karn the Betrayer and all of that. And the demons are all there, but it's really just like, it's just Doom Guy as a world. That, right? Like, that's just, it's just Doom Guy the Hell faction. That's really it. Um, I think the other gods are, are have a lot more interesting things to them. Um, and Korn is definitely, uh, they're all great, but Korn, if I was to, like, pick a Chaos God that I think personally is the weakest in terms of character interest for me it's corn oh boy i've just made every world eater play uh, world eater fan so pissed um but you can't do, uh, but one thing i can say is you can't help but feel like just a fucking beast when you just shout blood for the blood god skulls for the skull throne i've got it so much my girlfriend uh, i've got her going now <laughs> so corn gets that Anyway, we're going to move on now to the next one, the Drakari. The Drakari, the, a.k.a. the Dark Eldar, I put them away because they're so vastly different, so I was like, eh, Dark Eldar can work as their own thing. Uh, the Dark Eldar are a little more interesting than the actual Eldar because they're like, yeah, we. it's almost like it's like a Hellraiser book. It's like, it's like uh, Clive Barker in space. How could I not like them? Um, they all believe in, like, pain and torture, but, like, there's a method to the madness. Um, Lilith Hesperex, um, is a really cool character. I also like that, like, despite everything, they think they're doing the right thing. Um, and they know, like, oh yeah, torture, slavery, all of that's bad, but, like, it keeps us from getting eaten by Slanesh, so we're gonna try our damnedest to do that. I also just like the just the aesthetics of the ships. I really do dig the aesthetics of, of their crafts. The armor's really cool. And yeah, they're, um, yeah, I, I, I dig them as a, as a faction. I just wish they had more, uh, I, I do want to get the Lilith Hesperex, Hesperex book. Um, I want to read more Dark Eldar stuff. Anyway, so moving on, um, to the next one, which is our next Chaos God, and that's Zanich. Zanich is uh, the and Zanich and his followers and his god and the other like demons with him. Zanich is the demon of change and whatnot. I really like how he's like the god of magic and I really like the bird aesthetics to some of the demons. He I, I think he has some of the I think he has some really cool looking demons. I also really like the fact that like Zanich has such a he's all about change so his form is always changing as opposed to the other chaos gods who like they usually have like a base form that they have and it's kind of easy to tell um whereas Zanich it's like he's he looks one way and he's another yeah because he's the god of change that makes sense so I also he's also feels like Zanich also feels like the most underutilized of the chaos gods and I feel like there's so much potential with him but they never you but they don't use him a lot as I've seen they they're more focused on like the other four so there you go all right, moving on to our next one, and that is the Imperium of Man. Oh no, I rank the Imperium of Man so low. Come on, guys. It's it's my personal list. So the, why is the Imperium of Man here and not, like, higher on the list? Keep in mind, I like all the factions. And don't get me wrong, I really dig the Imperium of, the Imperium of Man. The Imperium of Man, I'm, gonna, I'm just called the Imperium. The Imperium is a... 
um, has some has the most interesting. It has by far the Space Marines. They're always cool. It has cool tech. It has such cool lore. But here's the thing: the reason why the Imperium of Man is so low for me is because they're taking away. And Games Workshop. This is straight up on Games Workshop. They're taking away from the other factions, the human, um, the human factions, and you know, chaos. I've said this before in like uh, some other videos. Is that they're really taking away from the other factions and really focusing on them, especially Space Marines. Um, there is a lot of stuff that like you cannot connect with with the Space Marines. Like as a person, I can't connect with a nine with an eight foot tall, genetically altered super soldier who basically whatever. No matter what chapter of Space Marine you're reading, it all kind. If you read too much, it really does feel like you're reading the same character over and over again. Um, and the Imperium, the human characters are way more. Of course, Caiaphas Kane. That's a, that's a perfect one. The tech is really cool, and the idea of like mankind raging, you know, a dying light raging against the dark, is a cool idea. Uh, it's just that like they're so overexposed, it's get, it, they've fallen on the list for me. Like I'm starting to like more actively avoid reading Imperium of Man novels, and just because like on the fact of I'm just so fucking tired of seeing them so much. And yeah, I know I'm. He's like, but you're a human. No shit. But like. I want to see the cool aliens. That's my thing. Anyway, so there you go. Moving on up, we have the Tau. The Tau used to be, like, if you asked me this like a year ago, if this Patreon request came to me like a year ago, I would have straight up said the Tau would have been lower. Like right, like right above um, the Leagues of Votan than the Eldar. But as I've learned more about them and read more about them, the Tau are actually pretty cool. The idea that they're an alien race that has, like, jumped above, um, in terms of technology and evolution, and they are primed to be the next rulers of the galaxy, give or take, if so long as, you know, they can survive long enough, um, is a really cool idea. Now, granted, yes, I'm aware that the Tau are kind of, they're all into eugenics, they're all into some other things, but you can't deny that the Far Side Enclave is really fucking cool. Um... Also, I just love the the mech suits. That's always neat. that's always really neat. So, the Tau have really grown on me. So there you go. I put yeah. I know some people are like he put the Tau over the Imperium of Man. What the fuck? <laughs> um. Um. Anyway, so there so there you go. <laughs> Now we move on to the factions, uh, some other factions that I really love to learn about. Starting off with Nurgle. Nurgle is, uh, the faction of Nurgle and the gar everything in the Garden of Nurgle is just a beautifully disgusting family. They don't call him Grandfather Nurgle for nothing. He is just, it, he and his followers from the Death Guard to the Beasts of Nurgle to everything else is just gross enjoyment. It's like a fun family. Um, I also just love the body horror of Nurgle. Um, it's a... It's a lot of fun to see it, and I really enjoy this just kind of just disgusting wholesomeness to it. There's like a sickening... Pun intended, sickeningly cute, sickeningly sweet uh, love for, uh, for, Nur uh, for Nurgle and his family. Um, yeah, they're just fun. And also, the, it, like... They just have, like, aesthetically, it's just gro It's like some body horror gross shit, but it's fun to look at. So, yeah. Now we move on to the next Chaos God, and probably the one Chaos... The Chaos God um, that I really have been enjoying the most, um, the more I think about it. Because it, it... And to be fair, it kind of... If you were to ask me what my favorite Chaos God, it kind of bounces between Nurgle and this one. It's Slanesh. Why Slanesh? Again, it goes back to the whole Drakari thing where... I like the whole Hellraiser feel to it, the whole Clive Barker feel to um, this faction. I love just the, like the idea of like it's the goddess of love and excess and everything else, and just the again the body horror of it, the idea that you know pleasure can become pain and pain can become pleasure. Um, yeah, but again, like Nurgle and Slanesh always like if, if, are always like bounce between like my two favorite chaos gods, but. I was, uh, like, it really does depend, but this time around, I'm going to put the, this, for this ranking, it's Slanesh. Um, and it's, and her faction. 
Anyway, now we move on to the last three. And you've probably guessed those three. You might have already guessed. If you've been here long enough, you already know who number one is. But let's continue. Now you, we're, we're going to wonder where the big three are going to land, right? Um, yeah. So first off, we have the Tyranids. The Tyranids in third place. The Tyranids have, again, it was another race that I was like, eh, eh that's all right. It's just bugs. But the more you learn about them, and the more books you read about them, the more of a horrifying idea they are. They are just a straight-up nightmare for the galaxy. They are just this endless eldritch nightmare that you don't know how many there are, you don't know where, where they come from, they're just like this unknown entity that is here to just fucking eat you. That's it. And they could look and out of all of them, outside from one other race, could probably kill the galaxy. Because they're a united front. That's kind of horrifying, isn't it? So, the Tyranids. Um, a lot of just great faction. Really rose up for me. And now we have number two, which can be summed up in one word. WOG! Yep, the orcs. The boys are good. Oh, I have a good crumpin'. I'm never, I'm not, I'm sorry. I, I won't do that again. Anyway, yes, the orcs. Arguably one of the factions that really got me into reading, uh, wanting to read more about um, Warhammer. They're dumb, stupid fun. And in a world of, like, grim darkness, dumb, stupid fun really gravitates towards it. They're actually my girlfriend's favorite uh, faction. She, yeah, she's been getting into Warhammer, and she, uh, like, what really drew her were the orcs. So, she's really been digging it, them and the Sisters of Battle. Um, so... The, or uh, the orcs from Gazgathal to other factions, they're all just, like, they just want to fight. There's no other, like, big reason other than, oh, we want it is a good fight. <laughs> and there's no other reason behind it. There's no, like, conquer the galaxy. There's no, like, eat everything. It's just, nope, we just want to fight. <laughs> That's it. Anyway, so there you go. So, yes, by order of elimination, you already know who's going to be at number one. The Necrons, my favorite faction in Warhammer. Um, yeah, the Necrons, aesthetically, they look like the, uh, they were the most interesting. When I learned more about the Necrons, I was like, cool, robot mummies. Um, I like the aesthetics of them, and I first, they would have been a little lower on me if you asked me this, like, uh, a year ago. They would have been a lot lower, because it's like, okay, robot mummies, there's nothing there. But there's so much character to them, and it's almost heartbreaking when you learn about the war in heaven and what the Silent King did with the Catan and everything else and the Deceiver, and you learn more about them. It's actually kind of like, they're almost like, man, you had a great empire and then you fucked it up because you just didn't, like, you didn't learn your fucking lesson. And also, there's actual characters to them. They're from Oltex to Emotech to the Silent King and uh, to Oricon, and of course my boy Tra uh, Trazen the Infinite. Best character in Warhammer. I think we could like everyone, even if you don't like the Necrons, everyone looks at Trazen and just goes, oh yeah, he's cool. But that's what I think, it, like the Necrons aren't just like because originally in first edition they were just meant to be like you know big terminator type robots right like they were all just meant to be like these big terminator type ro uh, machines but then they got more character to them they learned you know we got to you know do some cool retcons and sometimes i've always said this that like retcons can work as long as you can like make them interesting and thank god they did because they made uh, the necrons had they not made some character changes to them would have been a lot more boring so thankfully, the Necrons have become um, the Necrons have become way more interesting as a, as a faction. Um, just a race of machines that are just here to kill you and no and just take back their old empire. Like it is the it is a group of god killing robot mummies who are here to fuck your day up and move on to the next day to fuck up for someone else. Um, yeah. So there you go, guys. That is my uh, rankings for the Warhammer 40k factions. Yeah, I know I didn't like mention the Custodes or Sisters of Battle or the Inquisitors. I threw that all in with the Imperium of Man. But again, if you guys want me to do like a ranking for like um, the Space Marine, like Space Marine Legions, not uh, if we if I included successor chapters, would be our fucking day. But just like Space Marines or anything like that. Just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, and hit the first tier, uh, hit the third tier, excuse me, in the link in the description below. There you go. 
and you can send me that request. But as always, um, I'd like to thank uh, Bill McLaughlin for this Patreon request and continued patronage. And like I said before, if like I know this is, list is going to be vexing for some people, but I'm not saying this is the definitive list. You should uh, obey, you know you should obey it. I'm just saying like this is just my personal list. So I'm always excited to hear where the rankings for these factions land for you. So yeah, just comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.